agriculture remains a crucial industry if developing countries are to transform into fully-fledged developed nations. Hence, the Namibian government and private sector are hard at work to ensure sufficient investment and productivity from agriculture. This first episode of Inside Agriculture focuses on the efforts made at the Hardap Irrigation Scheme in Marintal. This was to reverse last year's low production due to poor rains and water shortage at the Hardap Dam, which is the main source of water supply to the irrigation scheme. January this year, the Hardap Dam reached a capacity of over 88% inflow, after which Namwater decided to release the water to keep the dam level at 70%. This decision was made after the 2006 flooding that occurred in Mariental. Today, the farmers are feeling positive as they anticipate a bumper harvest due to good rains and sufficient dam capacity which stands at around 71%, a capacity sufficient for two crop seasons. At the current moment, the situation is that there's approximately 500 hectares uh, of maize planted at Arnab, which will bring a yield of approximately 5,500 to 6,000 tons, which will be marketed at the milling industry in Namibia for human consumption, the whole uh, harvest will be taken up by the Namibian millers, the NGPA, Namibian Grain and, uh, Association, will take it up, all of it. In addition, it is anticipated that approximately 1,200 hectares of wheat will be planted, which will result in approximately 7,500 to 8,000 tons of yield. The mindset of the farmers is good and obviously the industry, uh, town, business people, everybody is gaining from a thriving hard up. So I'm, I'm quite positive and the rainy season is still a few months ahead of us, which can bring more rain. Another positive development is that a substantial number of workers who were temporarily laid off or lost their jobs due to water cuts last year are also gradually returning to work because of the increasing number of farming activities on the hard up irrigation schemes. Besides the fact that workers are back and that they are expecting a high dairy farming output, there are still challenges which the farmers are struggling with to ensure a bumper harvest and quality milk in competition with the South African agricultural produce, which to this day remains the main products on the Namibian shelves because of pricing and costing of feed. So we have enough water supplies to, to produce our own feed for the, for the farm. Yeah, but there's still, still struggles in the dairy industry itself due to the consumers and the retailers as well. We cannot compete with the South African price. The unfortunate issue at the moment is only that we've got an infestation of fall armyworm, but we're battling it by means of uh, spraying spray, crop dusting, spraying by chopper, uh, and I think we're winning the battle. After that, uh, I predict that because of the good rains in Namibia, the demand for lucerne is very low at the moment, 
pushing the prices down. The Namibian Agronomic Board has also put measures in place to ensure minimal food security interruption during the COVID-19 pandemic period. Thus, millers have secured contracts with local suppliers of stable food grains such as white maize, wheat and pearl millet, which is an added advantage for farm owners and workers to generate income. The irrigation farmers are also currently in negotiation with the Office of the Prime Minister and the Ministry of Agriculture. The aim is to improve the agricultural practices and increase benefits from the hard-up irrigation schemes. We discussed the whole issue of the reed infestation in the Fish River, as well as the three tributaries downstream, uh, the uh, Dabi, the Alp and the Sandberg. We're looking to get hold of monetary help from the German side. Um, and I'm quite positive that we are making progress regarding that. Uh, that will, on the positive side, it will be that the short-term insurance companies will come aboard and most probably reinstate insurance for all people in town, businesses, etc. So uh, we're busy with that as well and I'm quite positive that we're on the right track with that. The good rains in the country also brought relief to the communal farmers whose livestock numbers were greatly reduced due to the reoccurring drought in the country. All efforts are therefore geared towards ensuring that there is sufficient food supply in the region. Therefore, communal farmers and the hard-up irrigation schemes remains an important food basket in the region and Namibia in general.